Welcome to Soul Strength Fit, the 12 workouts of Christmas. This is day three in the second week, preparation and peace. Today's workout will be a total body and cardio workout. You will need your dumbbells, so have them handy and let's get started seated on the ground or on the mat. Lord God, may we find your peace as we head into this Christmas holiday season. Bless this time, we pray. Amen. Okay, we're going to start with just a gentle runner's lunge to begin. One foot forward, one knee back, perhaps just staying up on your palms or just starting to melt down into your forearms on your elbows. Hold here and breathe. What an amazing truth as we go into the Christmas season. And she shall bring forth a son and you shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted as God with us. Switch out your legs now. <clears throat> Another foot forward. Just a nice space between your front heel and your back knee. Let that back hip just melt toward the ground. How amazing to think. The infinite, awesome, all-powerful Lord took on a body like yours and walked this earth so he could know what it was to be like you and to eventually save you from your sins and restore your peace with God. We do not need to be afraid, for our rescuer has come. We do not need to be anxious, for God is with us. Let your heart feel light. Let it celebrate in this amazing gift from God. Deep breath. And we are getting started into today's workout. So gather up one dumbbell as you do so. I'll get you started into the exercise and then I'll tell you a little bit about this, this first round of exercises. So we're starting with center dumbbell chops. Your feet are a little wider than hip width distance, slow toes turned out slightly. Hold that dumbbell, intertwine your fingers right through center. And now I want you to drop down low with nice straight arms. Swing that dumbbell all the way up overhead. Squeeze your glutes right back down all the way up 30 seconds. So really squeeze through your glutes. Keep your arms straight the whole time. No bend in your elbows. I want you to try to get that dumbbell all the way up overhead. Really push your hips forward at the top of this movement. Keep this going. Now this first round of exercises, I like to call an up and down round because we're gonna be up, then we're gonna be down, and then back up again. Six exercises, we'll do it twice through with a stretch in between. You've got three seconds to go. Three, two, and one, done. Okay, set the dumbbell down, and now we go down. So down to the mat, high plank. We're moving into a high plank down dog reach. So it looks like this. From your high plank position, palms under your shoulders, Push your hips up and back. Take one set of fingertips, reach for your opposite shin, right back down high plank, and switch it out. There's the movement timer is started. I'm gonna um, give you an advanced version. If you wanna step this up a little bit, rather than high plank, take a push up. Push up, down dog reach. Push up, down dog reach. Otherwise, you're holding that high plank. You've got 15 seconds. This is our up and down round, so you know after this, we're back up again. You've got 10 seconds to go. Give this all you've got. If you're taking that down dog reach, really push your hips. Well, we're all taking the down dog reach, but if you're taking high plank down dog reach, really push your hips from all the way low, all the way up. Three, two, one, and done. Good. Okay, because this is a cardio round, here comes our first cardio exercise, and this is fall jacks. So we're going to I'm going to start with our fingers outside of our shoes. Sink your hips low. Now jack together, right back down. 30 seconds, let's go. So 30 seconds of fall jacks is intense. And it's intense because we're adding that reach. So modification, just hold regular jumping jacks. Or just tap this out. Do whatever you need to do to lift your heart rate right now and burn some calories. Reach for your heels, your ankles, and then all the way up overhead. You've just got about 10 seconds to go. And you know, after this, up and down round, we're back down again. You've just got five, four, three, two, and one, done. Okay, on your hands and knees, we're taking push-ups on our knees with a reach forward. One arm reaches forward, so it'll look like this. You'll drop down into a push-up, come up, reach a hand forward, right back down, push-up, and take it forward. So I know those of you who took the option 
for the down dog reach to add the push up are kind of feeling a bit like gypped right now because you're like, wait a second, here's a second round of push ups. That's awesome. You will feel it. And I want you to really burn out your arms and your chest right now. Take this opportunity to really sculpt your upper body. You've just got about 10 seconds left, and then we're back up, up and down round. Just five, four, three, two and one done good okay next skiers come on up so skiers what we're going to do squeeze your ankles and your knees together we're simply hopping side to side side to side timer is starting so you're always keeping gentle bend in your knees we're never locking our knees out here you're just trying to get as big a distance as you can and melt your hips be agile and light on your feet hopping side to side do the best job you can with this exercise there's only 10 seconds left and then you've got one exercise left just five four three two and one done good job down 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 we go that was up so now we're down we are into dolphin uh oh am i saying this word again dolphin push-ups yikes but this isn't a forearm plank so elbows underneath our shoulders step your legs long behind you core tight your hips are in line with your shoulders here now push them up towards the ceiling and lower them right back down just so they're in line with your shoulders don't lower them lower than being in line with your shoulders so forearm plank and then you're just pushing your hips up towards the ceiling keep this going so here's an um, awesome opportunity to really now work your shoulders I want you to give this all you got you're working your shoulders you're working your core you're working your quads you're squeezing your glutes you've got four seconds left three two and one done have a seat on the mat take your legs out to either side let's melt forward into our first straddle stretch of the day so legs out stretch your fingertips out long in front of you let your head hang heavy hold and breathe jesus came to bring us peace with god and when he returns to fully redeem our world we will experience ultimate peace listen to this description of the eternal reign of the Prince of Peace found in the book of Isaiah. The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, the little child will lead them, the cow will feed with the bear, their young will lie down together, the lion will eat straw like the ox, the infant will play near the cobra's den, and the young child will put its hand on the viper's nest. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Deep breath. And we have one more time through with our up and down round. So come on up. We're starting up with those center dumbbell chops. Get a dumbbell. If you've got two sets, you're getting your heavier dumbbell. Heels in, toes out just slightly. Nice long arms intertwine your fingers. And three, two, one, here we go. Swing it down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Really get down low as you're coming with that dumbbell all the way down. Try to really almost reach it behind you. However, I want you to keep your chest lifted the whole time. So you should be keeping your gaze forward. If you were in a room with a mirror, you should be able to see your face the whole time. You've just got about 10 seconds left. Get that dumbbell all the way overhead. Squeeze through your glutes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Done. Okay, we are back to the high plank down dog reach. And remember, advance to option, push up to down dog reach. So let's break this down again. High plank, you're starting with your palms underneath your shoulders. Super sturdy high plank, core tight. And now simply push back, downward facing dive. Push your hips to the ceiling and as you do so, one set of fingertips will reach to your shin and now switch it out. If you're taking that push up option, you're melting down through that high plank into a push up all the way back up. So I know that now you know there's a lot of push ups in this round, but I want you to give this all you got. Even if you're taking like a one inch bend in your elbows, you know what? That still counts as a push up. You've got 10 seconds to go, so just do the best that you can. Almost there. Last five, four, three, two and one good okay we were just down so now we're back up come on up to standing we've got fall jacks remember modify these with regular jumping jacks 
if you need. Otherwise, melt your hip, hips down towards the ground. Reach your fingertips to the outside of your shoes. Three, two, one, 30 seconds, go. Keep a nice, strong pace. So you know this round will not last forever. You also know that after this, we've got another stretch. So you give this all that you've got. You do the best job that you can. You've just got a little over 10 seconds left. Sink your hips low, reach up high. Keep this going. You're doing a great job. You're almost done. Last five, four, three, two and one good work okay we're up now we're down we're down for knee push-ups to a reach so palms out wide chest level drop your hips down push up one arm reaches forward drop down push up the other arm reaches forward so you're just getting a nice little reach so the one moment that you're taking that reach we can be balanced on two knees and one hand that's gonna ask a lot more of your core. That's gonna ask a lot more of your upper body strength. But you are so strong and you have 10 seconds left, you can do this. Almost there, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, done. Good job, back up you go. And now we're moving into those skiers. So feet together, ankles together, Gentle bend in your knees and hop this out side to side, side to side. Just like with great agility, we are skiing down a mountain slope. Look how awesome we are. Try to keep your ankles and your knees squeezed together the whole time. Light and agile on your feet. I know this is making your heart rate spike, but keep it up for these last eight seconds. You can do it. Almost there. Five, four, three, two and one good back down let's finish this round out strong dolphin push-ups elbows underneath your shoulders push your pinkies into the mat lengthen your legs squeeze through your quads three two one push your hips up towards the ceiling and lower right back down push them up and lower them down i want you to think about pushing your elbows firmly into the mat i want you to think about squeezing your quads i want you to think about squeezing your glutes and now squeezing your belly button up towards your spine. You've just got over 10 seconds to go, almost there. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, done. Good work. Come on to your knees. We're gonna take a tabletop quad stretch. So from your knees you're going to balance yourself one hand out to the side and i want you to try to kick your heel towards your glute and reach for your ankle now if this doesn't work take this into a lying side quad stretch and you can reach for your ankle here so we're kind of taking a quad stretch wherever you can hold it this is a pretty intense stretch if you're in the tabletop position but it should feel good hold and breathe and listen to our next reading which comes from hebrews 4. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. We do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Switch this out. So I want you to find the position that works for you. You're either in your single leg tabletop, hand down for support, kick that heel back, or find a lying quad stretch. Hold and breathe. Do you always feel God is accessible to you? What does it mean to you to approach God's throne with confidence? Is this what you imagine as a future event in the life to come? or something that occurs on a daily basis. And what is one thing on your heart that you could approach God with right now and lift up to him? Deep breath. Okay, we've got another big round headed our way, but only twice through and a stretch in between. So first exercise 
a dumbbell will be optional for the advanced version. So I'll just first show the exercise. We're taking quick lunge to knee drive with an arm reach. So you're just simply in a lunge position going to drive your knee forward in between your hands, keeping a nice quick pace. The dumbbell option is simply hold that dumbbell in your arm, so or rather in your hands. So grab your dumbbell if you want that advanced option to just add a little bit of load. And three, two, one, here we go. Big, quick, quick, quick knee drive with the arm reach. So we're doing one side and then the next. I want you to really pick up the pace and keep this going. What I want you to think about is keeping that front leg low. Sink your hips as low as you can. The point is to really make your glutes and your thigh work. You are almost there. Give me five more seconds, four, three, two, and one, done. Okay, switch out your legs, catch your breath. Other legs forward, big reach with your hands, and three, two, one, go, 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 go. Drive that dumbbell if you've got it towards your knee, knee towards your dumbbell. If you're not holding a dumbbell, drive your hands towards your knee and your knee towards your hands. You're doing a great job. Keep up this nice strong pace. Sink your hips a little bit lower. You're getting very close to the end of this exercise. Almost there, almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one, done. Okay, set the dumbbell down if you've got it. 20 seconds jumping jacks. Three, two, one, go. Just regular jumping jacks right here. I want you keeping nice long arms. I want you keeping a nice strong, steady pace. Really burn this out, pick up your heart rate, and burn some calories right now. You're doing a great job, and we have got just five seconds left. Almost there. Four, three, two, and one, done. Okay, 20 seconds. Squat, knee to opposite elbow. Fingertips gentle behind your head, behind your ears. Squat down low, come up, twist, knee to opposite elbow. Right back, squat down low, come up, twist, switch it out. There's a the movement timer is started. So I want you to keep a nice, strong pace on this. We've got a little bit of a bigger round this time, but only twice through with a stretch in between. So you're doing a great job. Keep up a nice strong pace, almost done five seconds to go. Get as low as you can, up twist. Just three, two, and one, done. Okay. Next two exercises, you need your dumbbells. We are going to come into a warrior two leg stance. So it looks like this, super wide stance with your legs. One toe is turned out to the side, one set of toes facing forward. So you've got a heel to inside arch alignment with your feet. Now the toe that's pointed out, bend, bend, bend that knee. Sink, sink, sink it low. I want you to sink it so low that you feel like your hips are about parallel to the ground. Your legs should already be burning. Your knee should be stacked above your ankle. So if you need to shimmy that foot out further to make sure your knee's above your ankle, do it. And now from here, with your dumbbells, we're taking an upright row. So you're simply pulling your dumbbells up under your chin, right back down. Okay, that's it. I want you to hold this lunge position. Now just holding this lunge position with your upper body working is tough. Your le I don't know which is gonna feel it more, your legs or your arms. But as you're moving through, I want you to really focus on not letting your hips lift. So you've just got 10 seconds left, sink lower. Bend that front knee even more. Keep lifting your arms, almost there, just three, two, and one, done, good. Don't set the dumbbells down, switch out your legs. So we're taking the other toe out, and now, Sink low, get your hips parallel to the ground, all the way, all the way, all the way down. This time, palms face one another, and we're going to take lateral raises. Lift your arms out to the side, right back down. And there's the movement, the timer is going. So check your alignment. Your, your knee should be stacked over your ankle, the toe that's pointing out. Your hip should be squared forward. Your shoulders should be squared forward. And as you lift these dumbbells off to the side, you're trying to get them all the way to shoulder height. You've got less than 10 seconds, so keep this up. You're almost done. We're down to the mat after this. Five, four, three, two, and one, done. Good job. Okay, so we're coming down to the mat, and we're going to find a bridge with an overhead tricep extension. So I want your heels underneath your knees, and then I want you to start with your arms extended, palms facing one another over your shoulders. Now from here, lift your hips up into a bridge position. Let's just try the arms first. Bend at your elbows, drop your thumbs down towards your forehead, and then straighten your arms, knuckles to the ceiling. Good, so that's the arm movement. Let's get the, the hips moving with us now. 
as you bend your elbows, drop, as you bend out your elbows, drop your hips at the same time and then extend, good. So there's a movement, the timer is starting. So basically your hips tap the ground, tap the ground as you bend at your elbows and then everything lifts together. I want you to really squeeze through your glutes. Now from your shoulders all the way to your triceps are stationary and still. The only movement coming in your upper body is your forearms. You've got less than 10 seconds. Then we have one more exercise. I know this is a super long round, but this is it. This round and then one more time and you are done. Almost there, three, two, one, and done with that. Good, set your dumbbells down. We're coming into a high plank position. Palms underneath your shoulders. Step your legs long behind you. Right away, squeeze your quads. Squeeze your belly button into your spine. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Push your palms firmly, firmly into the mat. Pick up one leg and drive that knee towards the same side elbow. Step it back and switch. There's the movement, 20 seconds. So I want you to finish off this round, this round strong. After these 20 seconds, we're into a stretch. And then we've got all of these exercises just one more time and you will have made it through today's workout. You're doing a great job. Last four, three, two, and one, done. Good work. Lay back. We're going to find a lying hamstring stretch. Hug one knee into your chest. Guide your heel up towards the ceiling. Hold and breathe. His name, Emmanuel, means you are never alone or without his presence. God himself is always with you. Hebrews 13, 5, 6 tells us, because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Switch your legs out now. Hug your other knee in. Guide that heel up towards the ceiling. Hold and breathe. So regardless of what you are experiencing or what's going on in your life, you can be absolutely sure of his loving and wonderful presence. Do you have this confidence? Do you have the peace that this assurance brings? Maybe take a moment now and ask God for a renewed sense of confidence in his faithfulness and presence in your life. One more deep breath. Okay, we are finishing out this long round of exercises. So we're starting with those lunge to knee drives. So remember, if you took the advanced version, you used a dumbbell between your hands to drive that dumbbell towards your knees. Otherwise, I just want you to drop down into your lunge, leg out long behind you, hands reach above your head and drive, 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 drive. So the knee that's driving in, timer's going, go, go, go. The knee that's driving in, you're simply tapping it, then driving it. As soon as your toe taps the ground, you're driving it all the way back into your chest. Sink low and stay low in this exercise. I know your standing leg is burning, but you've just got 10 seconds left and you know this is your last round of exercises today. So I want everything. Give it all you got, three, Last two and one, done. Catch your breath. We don't rest yet though. We switch it out and three, two, one, here we go. Quick little knee drives. Keep your hips low. Tap your toes and then drive your knee between your hands. I want this to feel like a standing crunch. I want your standing leg to be burning. I want your abs and your core to feel this. I want your heart rate to be coming up so that you can be burning massive calories right now. You've got 10 seconds. Don't give up. You're almost there. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good. If you had a dumbbell, set it down. 20 seconds of jumping jacks up next. Deep breath of air and let's get this going now. 20 seconds. Go, go, go. 20 seconds is not that much time. So don't waste one of these seconds. Give this all you've got. You're already 10 seconds into this. Last 10 seconds. Pick up the pace. Nice long arms. Reach those fingertips together at the top. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Done. Okay. Fingertips behind your head. 
We've got those squat, knee to opposite elbow. Three, two, one, go. Sink low, up, drive, knee to elbow. Low and drive it. Switch this out side to side. Here is a standing crunch, almost like a standing bicycle crunch. Sink your hips low and then drive that elbow towards your knee. Fingertips just resting on either side of your forehead here or right behind your ears. Just three, just two, and one, done. Okay, get your dumbbells. We are cranking through this round. Get your dumbbells and we are coming into those warrior two leg lunges. So, you know the drill. Big stance with your feet. Super, super, super wide stance. And then bend, 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 bend that leg and sink your hips as low as you can. Square your hips and your shoulders. We're starting with upright row. We are simply driving these dumbbells up underneath your chin and right back down. So thumbs come under your chin. Lead this exercise with your elbows. Your elbows are always higher than your wrists. And I want you to even squeeze your shoulder blades together at the top of this movement. Now you're about halfway there and I bet you your hips are beginning to lift. Sink them back down for these last 10 seconds. How low can you get them? Give this all you've got. Make today's workout count. You've just got five seconds left. Four, three, two and one good okay we rest later not yet warrior two legs on the other side simply switch out your stance and now remember your palms face one another so we're moving into lateral raises three two one here we go lift the dumbbells out to the side right back down right up to the side and right back down now again as you lift these out i want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together we're really moving through and working through your entire shoulder girdle here we're hitting all angle angles of your shoulder sink your hips a little lower 10 seconds to go burn out your quad burn out your glutes almost there four three two and one done good job down to the mat bring your dumbbells with you we're moving into the bridge overhead tricep extension so let's get all set up let's start with our hips lifted off the mat squeeze your glutes as hard as you can palms face each other and your hands are shoulder width distance apart and now tap your hips bend your elbows and then everything lifts tap and bend everything lifts good this isn't really an exercise we'll pick up the pace too much on i want it to be pretty controlled but as soon as those hips base barely tap the ground you're right back up again so you are keeping just that as a nice steady pace and just your arms are bending and extending as soon as they bend they're right back up 10 seconds to go continue to squeeze your belly button into your spine five four three two and one done good find your high plank position this is it high plank knee to same side elbow palms underneath your shoulders gaze is down nice long spine pick up a foot and drive that knee to your elbow step it back switch it out and back good so again i don't necessarily want super duper pace i would rather a bigger reach with your knee if you feel like you're gonna really drive it forward you've just got over five seconds left give me all you got just four three two and one done good work come to see you find a half straddle stretch just tuck one foot in your other leg out long and melt over that straight leg hold and breathe enjoy this concluding stretch stretch through your muscles listen once again she will give birth to a son you are to give him the name jesus because he will save his people from their sins Emmanuel in Isaiah is a sign for God's people that they will see victory over their enemies. Despite the doom and devastation, God will be with them and they will be victorious. Switch your legs out now. Just fold and melt, hold and breathe. Notice how the announcement to Joseph fulfills this prophecy. Jesus will save his people from their sins. For God's people then, and for us now, our sins are our enemy. But Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. He will save us from our sins. This is good news worth celebrating, not just at Christmas, but all year long. Lord God, we celebrate you. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, for who you are. Amen. Shepherds God.